on happy, crush your ride. Unlimited energy, ready, go! And the third pair of fighters are... Bruno Marume from Tabita Club and Eddie Kobayashi from the Mighty Gears. Don't cry. Oh, come on. It's not the end of the world. And besides, you can't change the result now. We've lost twice now. We've got no hope of winning. Let me go! And you have to take the responsibility. Let me go! You cheated and you still lost. Get off me! You put your self-interest before your team. That kind of behavior is unforgivable. Karuto! Shut up! You have no right to say anything bad to me. <laughs> Come back! him anywhere. Neither can we. I think the poor guy flipped out pretty badly. How could you do something like that? What do you mean? Oh, cut it out. Why did you say all of those horrible things to little Jin right after he lost? I just told him the truth. You told him the truth? So you must have told him that this whole team stinks. Oh. That we've already failed in the only goal we had here today, to beat Takeshi in front of his home crowd. You must have said that it wasn't just his fault, but the fact that we've lost our team spirit, that he played well, but he got beaten by a cheater, that this whole exhibition game is rigged to make us look bad. That's the truth, but you just wanted to hurt him, Kauru? didn't you? Kauru? What do you want? Uh, I think you got your point across. Uh, uh I'm sorry. This whole thing is my fault. Oh, no! I wasn't blaming you for anything, Jiro. That's right. Uh huh? You lost your game in an honorable way. Huh? He put a microchip inside his gear. That's just totally against the rules, no matter what the other team's doing. But you lost because you played while you were injured. You were being gutsy. I appreciate the compliment, but a loss is still a loss. There's no difference. It is different. And the way you lost, well, it's the best way to lose, I think. You should be proud of it. Proud of it? No way. Well, Karuto, I hope you can change our fortunes and win out there for a change. Hmm. He's back! Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Were you having a meeting? What? What do you want? It's you! What, are you trying to sabotage the next round as well? Huh? No way! I would never do anything like that. Why are you here? Huh? I just had to meet Karudo. Wow, I can't believe it's you. This is such an honor for me. 
Uh huh? Nice to meet you. My name is Eddie Kobayashi. I can't believe I'm playing the famous Karudo. Uh -uh. I've only recently started playing Crush Gear. I hope you're not going to beat me too badly. I'll do my best. You just started playing? So how the heck did you ever get into the Manganji Club? Well, I play snooker, you see, and everybody thinks I'm pretty good at it. Yeah? But how does that make you qualified to play Crush Gear? I don't really know myself. Uh, please excuse me. I have to run off now. But listen, guys. They're having some kind of show about my snooker skills in a minute. Come by if you have time. Well, see you guys later. Uh, right. Well, the next game should be a pushover. Maybe. But don't you think he's a little... weird? No, for a member of the Manganji Club, he was really polite. I don't think so. You see, I think... Didn't you guys get a weird feeling from him? I did. Hey, Karu, let's play it safe and do a background check on him. Okay. Come on, let's go and check out the snooker show they're about to do. You bet. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the genius who won last year's Youth Nine Ball Championships, the Kansai Hustler, Eddie Kobayashi. And now, Eddie's going to give us a demonstration of some of his snooker skills. Check it out. Mm, I think I'll start with a simple double shot. That was good, but let's see something a bit trickier. Show us the shot that made you the Japanese champion last year, Eddie. Now, don't be shy. Sure, I'll give it a shot. You win the game of nine ball when you sunk all the balls in order with the nine ball last. And at the championship, you did this off the break, right? Right. Now this I've got to see. mistake. What? <laughs> Where's the nine ball? that cow roof? Hey, did you find anything out? There was nothing on him in the official records. Hmm, I guess he was telling the truth. He must be a new player. Hey, you weren't watching him. No, his stupid show has got nothing to do with gear fighting. Careful now. Hey, relax. I won't play carelessly, even if he is a novice. might be able to play nine ball pretty well, but Karuda's gonna whip his butt. I can't wait to see his face. He thinks he's so smart. He's gonna find out the difference between snooker and crush gear the hard way. That's the truth. Uh, uh, where are you going? The game's gonna start. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Okay, I better go. Thanks a lot for this, Takeshi. How could he call himself a professional? Hey folks, we're back and ready for the third part of the exhibition game between the Tobita Club and the Mighty Gears. Fighting for the Tobita Club is Karuto Marume. He'll be fighting with Shooting Mirage. All right, do your thing. <laughs> Forget what happened. Karuto needs your support right now. Leave me alone. <sighs> oh, you're as bad as each other. Cut this macho crud out. Now listen, I remember you talking about a website for underground crush gear fighters. I need it. Oh, yeah? 
Can you remember the site's address? And from the Mighty Gears is the super slick snooker shark, Eddie Kobayashi. He'll be fighting with Break Nine. Idiot! He forgot to bring his crush gear with him. No, that is his crush gear. What? I can't play with regular gear. But with Break Nine here, gear fighting is just like snooker. You're joking! There's no way that's a crush gear. Break 9 is hands down the most unique crush gear model designed to date. It's perfectly round. That's amazing. Gear fighters set up. I don't hear anything strange. This gear fight should be a push-up. Ready? I guess that must have been beginner's luck. Whoops, I'm sorry. Referee! Why is he calling for the referee? I think he wants to protest that last move. And it looks like the Tabita Club player wants to have a word with the game officials. What's this about? Hey, what's going on? Is there some kind of mechanical problem with your gear or something? Come on, stop pretending that you don't know what's going on around here. Come on, I'm a new player who got lucky, that's all. You don't have to get all angry about it. You're not a new player. Huh? You pretend to be a rookie every time you play. That way your opponents don't really try against you. Are you serious? Yeah. I found it on the web. This pool shock is an underground crush gear fighter. He goes by the name Fast Eddie and plays in all kinds of illegal games. So everything he said before was... <laughs> It was all an act. Huh? Round two, stand by. You're nothing but a coward. I'm gonna beat you so badly you'll cry like a baby. You hear me talking? <laughs> Good luck to you. From now on, I'm not going to be holding anything back out there. Gear fighters, stand up, ready? like a real snooker ball. It's the perfect gear. There you are. I've never seen a crush gear with this design before. When it's in the air, the wheels retract automatically. It turns into a perfect sphere. It takes the energy from the opponent's attack and uses it for a counterattack. It's genius. You see, that means that the stronger the attack is against it, the harder it retaliates against the opponent. It's practically unbeatable. So you're telling me there's nothing Karuto can do to win? Pretty much, yeah. Break 9 is the perfect combination of attack and defense. No matter what he does, he's gonna fail like a chimp attacking the Death Star with a banana. I don't believe it. There's gotta be a way to knock him out. Come on! See how you like this. I'll try a following shot. Looks like you're gonna get snookered again. <gasps> Time's up! Now that's really a case of being saved by the bell. <sighs> you're pretty lucky too. 
<laughs> Referee! I want that crush gear of his tested right now! The body and the gearbox! That design is not legal! I'm afraid it is legal, son. He took a piece of pre-existing crush gear and modified it. There's no rule against that. <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm withdrawing in protest. I'm not gonna fight in this third round. I don't play with cheaters. What? You can't! You're our only foe! But that means letting him get away with it. I've quit in protest before, and I'll do it again. You're chickening out. I am not. Oh, please. Don't try to pretend you're not a coward. You're afraid of losing to this guy. And now you're just trying to wriggle off the hook. You little... Stop it! It's the truth. Remember how you got out of playing in that tournament a year ago? You were afraid of losing then, only you used my microchip as an excuse. That's ridiculous. I wouldn't play with illegal gear. Yeah, yeah, that's just an excuse you're hiding behind. You're a chicken. Duh. It's in the bag. I'm going downstairs now, Dad. We're expecting the delivery any time now. Please don't quit now. I want to see you whine and cry when I beat you again in the next round. Who says I'm quitting? You won't get away with this! Round three! Gear fighters set up, ready, go! It must feel pretty good knowing that you're winning by cheating. You haven't lost yet, Karudo. Who knows? You might still pull off a miracle and win this. <laughs> Come on, Karuto. Don't let him psych you out. You've still got a chance to win. Just as I thought. You have no idea what it's like to lose a game. And that means you don't know how sweet victory is either. How sweet victory is? You're a rank amateur. Both in winning and in losing games. That's not true. I know that how Jiro lost was honorable and how Kishinokawa won was cheap. Let me tell you a little something about winning and losing. Losing is like being starved. Your belly feels hollow and sore and you feel sick. You never forget that feeling. <laughs> and because of that feeling, I swore I'd never lose again. And you're talking to me about honorable loss and keeping your dignity? Don't make me laugh. Huh? Okay, just calm down. Listen closely. He has to have a weak spot. I'm stronger and smarter. I'm not a coward. I'm gonna beat him. He's going down. <laughs> That's it. The top. Go shooting the rock! I just figured out his weak spot. It was muted. Mm -hmm. It has a silencer to disguise the gear noise. And even with your super sensitive hearing, you couldn't figure out how it worked until it was too late. An A plus for the little gear boy. That's exactly how I modified my gear. You make me sick, you cheater. Cheater? <laughs> I knew you were nothing but an amateur. You have no idea. Haven't you ever heard of using tactics to win? You thought me pretending to be a novice was cheating. I say using it is a clever tactic. I've won today because I've got a ton of experience. You've got none, so you lost. <laughs> Winner of the third gear fight is Eddie Kobayashi! Kuruto. Go ahead and laugh. I won't laugh, but at least now you know what it feels like to lose a gear fight. 
Now you're at the same level as me. We're both losers. Oh, it's you. Huh? Hello, Master. You lost today, didn't you? Yes. I lost a difficult Crush Gear fight. And now, I want to practice Kendo. I want to win! Master, I want to compete with you! Not today. Not with the way your mind is right now. Why not? Ask yourself, Kurodo, why do you come here to practice Kendo? And why do you crush gear fight? For victory. And why do you have to win? Well, I... Listen carefully. I'm not going to help you practice Kendo until you can answer that question. But how do I find the answer? Search yourself. All the answers to life lie inside you. Come back when you're ready. I'll be waiting for you. But Master... Unlimited 